Welcome everyone to a brand new series in which I have already spelt, spent 38 days in. This is um, Hardcore and version 0.3. The reason why it's 0.3 and not 0.2 is because um, I installed a mod and that mod is called Optifine. It lets me zoom into things very nicely but that mod unluckily um, destroyed our world. So 0.2 has um, now gone, and I have spent the past 38 days in Minecraft, uh, basically digging some diamonds, getting some enchantments, and um, we're not looking extremely healthy. The area over there is very dark and like uh, dull and dirty. That's because um, I just destroyed a farm. We have six diamonds to our name, which is basically more than we had last time. But um, I will show you the progress. If we jump right down here, I'm going to die. Oh my god, I'm not only going to... Nah, I'm joking. This is, um, this is my wonderful mine. In which I spent approximately three hours in. Digging diamonds. And it goes all the way across. All the way down the corridor. And so on. We're not going to be doing that today. So don't worry. I also marked levels. So for diamonds, we've got the best most abundant of and it's going to be a nice journey up possibly like I don't know I haven't counted but I think it takes around two minutes so yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna speak to you guys while I'm on the ladder and um, the reason behind me being gone so long is just I wanted to take a break do some refreshing this is gold Y minus 16 I wanted to do some refreshing, wanted to take a little break off Minecraft as um, Rocket League new season came out and I wanted to play other games with some friends of mine so I basically stopped making videos for like uh, like three days or four days, something like that. I took a little break. I can. I'm a minor channel. It's my possibility and my, uh, my good thing of taking breaks. Uh, a small percentage of audience will care. But yes, I will, I will get up right here in a minute, hopefully, like so. Voila. There is sugarcane around this whole place. Good lovely ding. Now, to show you guys all the achievements I've unlocked is um, basically this. That's mainly husbandry, but yes, we've got adventure, plant a seed, grow weed, and all that. Best friend, tame an animal. Oh yes, I totally have not done that yet. But yeah, I've done I've done some things. Sleep in a bed, change your respawn point, make the meadows come alive with the sound from the jukebox. Discover every biome. We've discovered nine biomes. Powdered snow. That's why uh, in last 0.2 I was keeping boots, a leather boots on me. But yes, there I haven't. I haven't accomplished these yet. The yellow ones are the ones that I've accomplished, and uh, most of them are actually just this. Build, light, and enter another portal, which is exactly what we're not going to be doing today. I actually have no idea what we're going to be doing today. I just wanted to show you guys. All the items and everything I've gained so far. I did build this little farm right here, just cows. I killed a lot of cows. <laughs> and I mean a lot of cows looking for leather. And I had to get my cows right there from all the way up there. And it was a bit of a trek. There is a baby making happening right here. Two so far. I don't like that it's only two. I'm waiting for more. And um, this. One of these, this guy right here, there was a little accident at that village over there. But I really don't know what happened, but I think a maniac with a lava bucket came and burnt all the villagers, every bed, and took some bells and um, burnt an iron golem. Mm, a bit of irony there. But yeah, some maniac, I don't know what or how or why, but he came to this village right here. It was doing perfectly fine, the village. But he came to this village and absolutely destroyed it. Like, he burnt this house right here, took all the beds, and even the, 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 the table, the cartographer table right over there. He took everything, and I mean everything. He plundered this whole place clean. But for some reason, the villager that the maniac has just constantly wants to come back to this village. It's not like there's anything there, but, you know... Mr. Villager wants to come back for some some some, some reason. I'm not, I don't know why. 
I honestly don't know why he wants to go back to the village. There is nothing here. But yes, there is a good thing about this um, this seed, this new new world of mine, and it is that we probably can, and we probably will get to a hundred days on target. Because in the previous 0.2, we were heading heading pretty nicely, but we were on day 50 and we just built the Nether portal. So we're on day 38 right now. Just had to double check because my memory is not good with um, numbers, dates. But yes, we're on day 38, and there is a village over that direction. There is a village over there. There is, I believe, another village over that way. And the sugarcane is a little annoying, so I'm thinking of getting rid of it. But for first, we need to basically wait for villagers to grow up. So this video is basically an introduction video showing you guys around the new world. We have efficiency 4 right here, so I'm planning to get to level 30 soon. My inventory is looking pretty nice. If you're wondering what enchantments I have, it's protection 3, unbreaking 3, death shredder 3. I got pretty lucky with one enchantment right there. Now, what I am going to do... In this episode, yes, in this episode, I've made up my mind of what I'm going to be doing. And what I'm going to be doing is building a farm. A farm right here. As you can see, my base is a very open concept. So we might as well have our own farm in it, right? Oh, in the base, shall I say. We have nice exits around the map. Around the map, yes, this looks like a map. We have uh, some nice exits. We can just hop on out and go to the villagers or go to these guys. Speaking about the villagers, I think I will give them a little bit of help with their bread expedition. There we go, like so. Because villagers take bread, I'm not going to be eating bread, because bread is a lame food. And by lame, I mean doo-doo. It's very bad. It doesn't satisfy your saturation very much. It's like eating cereal every day in the morning. Yeah, it's it's that boring. It's bread. No one likes bread. Even I kind of don't like bread. Even though everyone loves bread around me to some extent. You guys need to <clears throat> re reproduce bread. One of you is a fake. One of you is an architect. So my fellow viewers, I I really I I am so happy to be back. I, I am very happy to be back. Like um, losing 0.2 with was such was such a loss that I had to take a break, a 38 day Minecraft break. You know, as as everyone does. You know, it casually just takes 38 Minecraft days break. You know, probably four days. I don't know when this video is going to be published. Probably tomorrow. But yes, there is a project that I'm waiting for, waiting to do, and that project is building a beautiful farm. Um, first of all, I'm gonna get rid of all this sugar cane because, well, the demand is. L Sorry. First of all, I'm gonna get rid of all this sugar cane because the demand is low. Hopefully, you enjoy that little speed up time lapse. I'm probably gonna be like two seconds long. I'm gonna speed it up very nicely up. Now. What I've realized is Depth Strider boots in Java Edition are extremely good. Like, extremely good. Let's say, I'll show you an example, guys. I'll show you an example. I jump into the water, and I can basically just walk around like I would normally, right? If I take this off, I am slow. I am extremely slow. Like, I, I don't understand what the problem is with this, this version of Minecraft, but, um... Walking in water seems very realistic, and uh, this is not good. I don't like this part of Minecraft where water physics actually work to some extent. I mean, the part that it don't flood doors obviously, obviously means something. Like, what if Minecraft predicted doors versus wheels, and they just basically said doors are now invincible. Now vote doors. Hmm. What if? What if? What if? What if that is what Minecraft fought when making doors in Java and not have water? They were like, team doors for the win. By the way, if you don't know what doors or wheels are, don't search it up. You, you don't need to be included in this massive argument. It's massive. You don't need to be part of it. Be innocent. Be innocent. 
As you may see, I've gathered quite a nice quantity of um, sugar cane right here. And I'm actually going to make a new chest for it because it's overfilling absolutely everything. Beautiful, now that we have a separate chest for sugarcane and paper, Minecraft music has came to greet us. And that is very rare. Like, let me do this. Oh, look at that, guys. Isn't that cool? Optifine is so cool. Now, oh, that mountain right there would be a perfect thumbnail if only I was going to explore it. <laughs> Got you there, guys. Got you there. You first going to explore a mountain. No, no. Anyways, I'm going to need to gather my thoughts on how I am going to start building this farm. Guys, we're building it out of jungle logs. How cool is that? Hey, that's pretty cool. Now we need a 9x9 area. This is pretty much perfect, but I'm not sure if it's perfect, so I just need to lay it out first. And as soon as I do that, I will be right back. Right, now that we have the, the place marked with a beautiful redstone. Looks like rubies, guys, but... Yes, beautiful redstone right here. I think this is my perfectly two, four, six, seven, two, four, six, seven. All right, this is very nicely calculated. I did need to get some wool away, but 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 I don't know how I'm going to do this anymore because the area that the farm needs to be in has to be nine by nine. So basically, this. Maybe I could do something like such, place it high up, and then I could extend my house a bit further, and that is exactly what I'm going to do. Precisely after 10 minutes, we have the frame nice and completed. Now we need to mine all of this back up, because we are going to need to place some water in the middle and grow the crops in this area. We have the foundation laid out but we are lacking resources therefore we shall go to the nearby mountain and level some things out. Oh they have spawned a villager. Oh, the, villagers, the villagers have spawned an iron golem which makes me believe that they have grown up precisely very nicely done I'm gonna need a new shovel I'll probably make a diamond one and off camera I'm gonna be doing some diamond mining but uh, yes yes that is exactly what we are gonna do we're gonna gain some dirt and we're gonna employ some librarians and um, farmer villagers so that we can start earning emeralds now I would try and automate this process, however, I don't want villagers to be used for as um, farmers in this uh, start of the whole series, so um, well, hopefully the series until I <coughs> unfortunately uh, lose my files again. Yeah, very unfortunate guys, very unfortunate that was. It was so unfortunate. But yes, I don't know what I was saying, but I think I was talking about villages. So, um, as I have said probably, I don't want them to be farming my food. Well, not food, but um, crops. Simply because um, it's a little time consuming for them. And I don't really want to waste my precious villagers on such agendas as farming. I have some dirt in here which is good. We do want to make this farm as soon as possibly. It would be rather beneficial for us to get this as soon as possible. So after saying this beautiful jungle theme, we do need some quartz, and um, to get quartz we need to go to the nether. To get to the nether we need obsidian, which I think we have 12 of, and we also need a bit of flint and steel. I will craft the flint and steel right now, but I will not go into the nether yet. I am waiting for full diamond armor. Once I get full diamond armor, then, and only then, I will go 
to the nether because that is a scary place and I don't want to die straight away. I will also take some of this and some of that and make it into bookus and from nope from books we shall make them into lecterns which requires some of this and some of this lectern right there two lecterns that's perfect we do want to get some more possibly two perfect after getting this we do want composters so we take some of that we take we have one at home but we give them four composters that'll be three and all the one that we have hopefully in this chest nope right here very nice put this away for the time being and we shall go to the villagers and uh, get some dirt and uh, be right back okay everybody after flattening this area out we have enough to build two layers high of um, farmland well after completing two of the remaining layers I need to do one more underground that is looking mighty nice it is fitting inside the base pretty swiftly and smoothly I think I might build a little house hut there containing the bed because well it is kind of outside and we don't really want that so um yeah we have wheat on the top carrots nope beetroots on the second floor and um on the third floor we have wheat now on the underground we are going to keep the style all the same it's just going to be a bit more enclosed now what we need to do is do a bit of um, this mining and uh yeah, that'll be about it, and voila, like so. Now to plant the carrots, we need a nice contrasting colour or tone to accompany the jungle looks, and like that, the farm is done, but not yet. You may be thinking it is done, but it is not done yet. So that said, I have completed the farm, well, basic completion has been accomplished and that is absolutely perfect exactly what I needed to do just making sure the carrots uh, get a bit more hydration than they thought they would achieve today but yes the ladder the ladder of um, the ladder of accomplishments has been built like such and a like such. Now we have a layer like that and a layer like that and we can basically get off from the sides and everything is growing very nice. Very nice indeed. Now we don't, we have a little, we don't have much, um, much difference, much difference going on. The bottom is in case so you can't see it at all. I don't know what I'm going to be doing for the top but this is going to be it. I'm stopping recording about in five minutes, maybe. I don't know. Double click to get all of that in. Take that. Take all of take all of that. The remaining items. I shall get rid of all the cobblestone and get a cobblestone deep slate cave. D deep slate cave. Deep slate box. Uh, storage. Yes like so make a chest like so go back and place it on top of the storage right there double click to get it all in take the remaining items and this is just a chest for deep slate like so take all of that take all of that along there place it like such we have a little bit of deep slate tiles very nice dark combination yes very nice place it along there some dripstone from a cave some more tiles a little bit of that a little bit of this 
and our collection is slowly but surely building up. We have no, we have no andesite. We do have andesite. There you go. Gravel, like such. Beautiful. I call this episode a success. We have reached day 43. I would like to thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Hopefully with Diamond Armor and maybe some improvements done to this beautiful build right there. And like that, we say goodbye. Thank you very much for watching. Hope I see you guys in the next episode.